All right, I haven't done one of these in a while, and it seemed like it was time. And since I've been on a bit of a Batmobile kick, I thought I'd look at some of the Hot Wheels Batman collection. These are all the vehicles that I'm aware of that matter from the 1989 Batman and Batman Returns films. There's also the Penguin Rubber Duck Mobile, but who cares about that? That movie was crap anyway. Um, <clears throat> so... Let's start with this one. The 1989 Batmobile it is my Batmobile. I was uh, ten and a half when that movie came out, and I have some pretty fond memories of my aunt dropping me and my cousins off to go watch it. It was the first movie I recall. It was the first movie I saw in the theater without an adult, and you know, it's a fantastic movie. It certainly has its problems, but I love it. And this Batmobile is a great design. I love how detailed this car is. Uh, I hope it's coming across in the camera. It's hard to see sometimes if I can. It's got nice of, lots of little nice sculpting bits, which is not really correct terminology. But who cares? It's got silver painted headlights. It's got um, it's got rubber tires, which is cool. I think the the main body is metal, or it feels like it might be. It's got a sliding open canopy. There's some... I, don't know if I probably can't get the light in there right for you to see it, but there's there's chairs. The seats are sculpted in there. The, the, um, the console... I don't know. I can't get the light in there right, but hopefully maybe you can see some of that. There's some detailing in there. There's a steering wheel. There's probably no way you can see the... It looks like there might be a sticker or some paint on the on the dashboard even. So neat. Um, anyway, I just I've always loved this design. When I found out that Hot Wheels had done a series of 150 scale Batmobiles, I was super excited and went out and bought every single one that I could find that I liked. This is one of the best for sure, because it's the best Batmobile. So, we also have the shielded version. Technically, this one was released as Batman Returns, if I recall, but clearly we saw it in the 89 film as well. I always thought the cocoon was really awesome. Shielded his car from everything. This also has a sliding canopy, so you can see the canopy of the Batmobile underneath there. Uh, that's neat. It also has rubber tires, so it can roll. These cars roll really well. Um, not much to it. It's got a dry brushing of a light gray on it. I'm not actually sure that I like that, but I like it enough that I had to have the armored Batmobile. <clears throat> then we have the Bat Missile from Batman Returns. Uh, we don't need to go into my opinions on that film. <clears throat> but this was kind of a cool little gimmick when the car folded up so that it could escape through a narrow alleyway. It still has the sliding canopy. There's still a car, uh, rather a seat in there and a steering wheel. Um, I do like that the, whatever that is, the front of the engine is silver on this one and not on here. That surprises me. I thought it was silver in the movie. And the engine exhaust bit is also silvery. So that's cool. I like that much better on this one. I wish that this one was silver, but... Anyway, nifty. Neato. Cool. So there's the Bat Missile. This is the one I just got. This one I had to pay a little bit extra for because it never hit locally, and I finally got around to buying it on eBay. Or eCrater, actually, for a little bit over retail, but... The Bat Boat from Batman Returns. I honestly have no recollection of this showing up, but I don't like that movie, so I've only seen it like twice. Nifty little design. Let's move these a little bit so you can see a little better. Nifty little, is it more of a hydroplane? I don't know. Problem is the main body is metal, <clears throat> but these are plastic, and as you can see, this one looks like it had been on display for a while. The wings are starting to sag a little bit. That's a little disappointing. It's not a huge deal, but 
it clearly looks a little off to me. Definitely dig the, the fin designs. It has, I don't know, it has the same jet engine that the, or similar, that the Batmobile does. Fits the same aesthetics, and it also has a flip open canopy with a chromey interior, so you can see some of the details. Don't ask me what it is, I don't know how to drive a boat, but it's got little sculpted knobs and whatnot in there. It also looks like it has two guns on the front, because if there's one thing Batman uses, it's guns. And finally, the best for last, the Batwing. I love this design. This is definitely the one that I was the most excited to get of all of the Hot Wheels Batman releases. Even though it was short-lived in the film, the Batwing from the 89 film is amazing. It comes with a neat little stand. It's got a ball joint on the end, which doesn't plug in there quite as snugly as I would like. This is just a plastic clip. I think it's actually stretched out a little bit. But uh, let's see. Can you see some of the detail there? On the bottom, it's got little hangy-downy fins that I'd never known about before. It's got sculpting even on the bottom. Plus the beautiful silhouette. So with the stand, you can actually tilt it back a little bit. That's starting to pop off that way, but it balances really well. So you get a good look at the, the bat symbol of its silhouette. The canopy I do not believe opens, and looking at it, I see I'm completely wrong. Pops up, got little guns and whatnots. There's some controls sculpted in there that there's no way this phone is going to pick up. So by and large these are black things with a little bit of silver paint here and there, rubber tires. Fantastic line. I love it. I have a lot of them. I'm still trying to hunt down a few more. The Batmobile, the 89 Batmobile, the Batwing, and the Batboat were recently-ish reissued in a three-pack exclusive to Toys R Us. If you can find it, I think it was $27, which is a great deal. Buy it if you can. Um, I see it selling for $35 to $60 on eBay. Honestly, these probably are worth 20 bucks each to me. Um, I'm trying to get the bat from The Dark Knight Rises, and I'm going to end up paying 20 bucks for it, and I'm going to be happy about it because I'm not going to see it locally. I didn't even know it was out until it had come and gone, but I don't think any of ours hit because the reissue wave with this and the stupid rubber duck boat or rubber duck car thing and whatever the other one is didn't sell. They're all over the place, so we didn't get any new ones. Um, anyway, I am babbling. I will stop now. The Hot Wheels Batman collection consisting of Batmobiles from the movies, from the TV shows, from the cartoons, from the comics. Great stuff. Highly recommend them. Thanks for watching.